and this is the view that my dogs get to see when they're running around carefree and don't realise that there are hidden dangers here. Devizes was quite a, a shock when I first arrived here because it was a bigger community. It wasn't so rural, but having said that, I was able to enjoy walking a canal and small areas around Devizes that I gradually got to know. But for me, the shock, I think, was how there was no close community uh, feel anymore. Nobody seemed to want to take responsibility for themselves or anyone else in the community. It was a normal weekend and as normal I would get my two dogs ready for going out for their walk which the noise of Lucy the Cavalier Spaniel and Barney my little terrier barking with excitement as soon as they saw their leads coming out. This particular morning they were really excited off we set off they're running around, um, we go into the woods and they're running around the paths and as we come out of the woods into Quaker's Walk, um, Lucy and Barney were running and I carried on walking saying, hurry up, I want to get home for a cup of tea. I noticed that Lucy wasn't her normal bouncy self so I, I looked around and she was hanging back and the other little dog was jumping and barking at her. So I went back towards her and was absolutely mortified because I could see blood on the ground. I was horrified because obviously she'd run across broken glass that had been left from a beer bottle that had been smashed and it had cut her paw open. I was angry, I was scared, I was worried about Lucy so I picked her up with the other dog following me, Barney, I carried her home, gave her feet a wash so I could have a good look at the cut and cleaned her up and put antiseptic on it. I sat down and reflected on what had just happened and I think over that evening and afternoon uh, my temper started to really boil. Um, I spoke to my husband and I said about the state of all the rubbish lying around in those woods. I said it needs to be cleared up and his comment was you leave it, it's not your job, uh, leave it alone. And I, then I got even angrier. I thought well if everybody had that kind of attitude, oh don't bother, it's someone else's job, we'd be knee high in rubbish and debris. And I wasn't having that, so the following morning I got a couple of industrial bin bags, a bucket, gloves. Armed with this, uh, my Wellingtons, off I went into the woods, picking up fragments of broken glass from wherever I could find it, even needles and all crisp packets, bottles, anything that I could find and put in these sacks. The following day, Lucy was okay and Barney, they wanted to go out. As usual, there was excitement. So, put on their leads, off we went. Not taking a much notice of who was coming up Quaker's Walk at that time, there was a gentleman next to me and he made an off-the-cuff remark that he hoped that I cleaned up after my dogs. And after the previous day, I was so angry, I snapped back at him. We got into a bit of an argument and I said, I'm one of those people that go around cleaning up broken glass and all the rest. And then he replied that he did as well. But he, I think he was so angry uh, that he made a, co a, a comment and I stormed off in a huff and taking my two dogs with me. Maybe I was brought up very old-fashioned, but it's about respecting each other and also respecting each other's point of view with, obviously, me and this gentleman's point of view. We were actually on the same platform, but we didn't realise it. I think there are a lot of people out there that are of the same attitude that we'd like to see devises much cleaner than it is. 
Hopefully, you will appreciate now how wildlife don't always see these dangers beneath the leaves. What a sad world we live in today when we find this happening more and more throughout the country, not just in rural areas, cities as well.